delete the cube from the scene, because from now on we will tag the local player as a prefab via script. Now we will create two more scripts to manage the network clients and the server. Inside the scripts folder, create a new folder called network. Create a new empty game object and rename it to network manager. Now let's add the UDP client component from the asset to the network manager object. Next we will create two more scripts for the server and the game client. Create a new script and rename it to Basic Network Manager. Create another script and rename it to Basic Server. Add both Basic Network Manager and Basic Server scripts to the Game Object Network Manager. Basically all multiplayer applications, regardless of their purpose, followed the same workflow. Basically, we start the server, connect the clients to the server, and establish communication between clients and the server through callbacks and events. Open the Basic Network Manager class to start programming the game client. Initially we will import the UDP core library from Basic Wi-Fi Local Multiplayer Asset. Then we create a static variable of the type of the class itself called Instance. This variable will allow accessing the attributes and methods of the Basic Network Manager class without the need to instantiate it. Create a vector called cube prefabs of type gammy object to store the cube prefab created previously. Create another vector called transform spawn points to store players spawn and respawn points. Create a game object variable called local player. Create a variable of type UDP component called UDP client. We will now create a dictionary type list with key and value to store all online players. As key we will have the ID of each player and as value associated with the key we will have the player's cube manager component. Lastly we added some more fundamental variables to help connect the client to the game server. Now the first step before starting any multiplayer application is to establish the client's connection to the server. Instantiate in the UDP client variable, the UDP component. Then create a method called connect to server to connect the client to the server. Initially we check the server's IP using the get server IP method provided by the asset. Now we use the radon class to generate a random port for the client. And finally we connect the client using the connect method, 
providing the server's IP, the server port and the client port previously generated.